We are three days away from a bowl game appearance by Big Orange in Music City. UT does take on Purdue Thursday. The Vols missed postseason play because of COVID-19 cases last year. This year, they're hoping that will change. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot shows us how fans are getting set for a big day in Nashville. It's the week of the bowl game for UT. And Eric Bales is ready. With his UT-themed socks, his hat, a nod to former UT head coach Butch Jones, and his alarm set. Every game day, I had my alarm set to a Rocky Top, obviously. Rocky Top, you like so many Vol fans, he's excited they'll play one last game this season. <laughs> Nissan Stadium doesn't have as many seats as Neyland, but there are still a few tickets left. You know, this team go from expected to win three or four games to winning seven with the chance to win eight. It's really unheard of, and I did not expect it at all, to be honest. Former UT football player and podcast host Jason Swain is hosting a tailgate in Nashville. For Vol fans making the trip, Nissan Stadium is about three hours west, right off I-40. And this is Volunteer State, so we expect a dominant orange crowd, home field advantage. Meanwhile, back at UT, Neeland gets Eric Bales ready for one last game. Just one more game is always... Just a cap. And again, that former Big Orange player, Jason Swain, you heard from, is hosting that tailgate with the UT Alumni Association. A portion of the money will go toward a scholarship fund for UT students, and they say children are invited as well.